Hey everybody, I'm Andy the Kenworth Guy. Thanks for coming by the channel today. Well, winter is here, it's snowing a little bit right now, and we're gonna be checking out this fully loaded up T880 day cab tractor. So let's see what this is all about. Here it is. So this is a 2024 T880 day cab tractor. We've dressed it up pretty much as nice as we can on the outside from the factory. And uh, there's gonna be a little tip trick on how to get free tires uh, on this video. So stick around until we get to the near end of it. I'll show you how you, how you can do that. Uh, but anyways, let's uh, take a look up front here. It's a 193 inch wheelbase standard. T880 day cab. We got the chrome bumper here, aluminum metal mesh grille, and we got the stainless surround around the crown of the hood. Uh, bolted on fenders, so these are actually fixed via bolts on the backside, and uh, they're beautiful headlights which give great visibility in dark situations. Uh, coming down the side here, we have the chrome bezel around the air intake along with the chrome mirrors. So looks really sharp and then we got the visor up above with the five roof lights. Put the Durabrite mirror polish finish uh, rims on here. So just soap and water and these things just shine up just beautifully. So really nice. We got the Michelin XZE2 steer tires mounted on the front end here. And then we did the polished battery box, DPF box, straps, fuel tanks, the whole thing's all polished. So we can do the short length polished end caps, polished front, so you get a really nice shine to that step on both sides. And then this is a really nice option here. We have the steps mounted onto the def tank, so gives a really nice step, protects the top end of the uh, def components here, so you're not gonna step on that ever. Uh, so all those, all the seals that are in there, uh, all where everything's going in, it's all nice and protected, so that's a really nice thing to get right from the factory. Uh, I also like to put the grab handles on the exhaust pipes themselves so you have that much better access for getting on top of the back of the frame or also getting in and out of the truck. So we have the small fuel tank here, seven inch straps. Uh, so this one here is a 75 gallon fuel tank, polished tank, polished seven inch straps, uh, really nicely set up there. We've got the painted black frame. This is the Kenworth AG4, AG380 suspension. So it's got that uh, C spring out front. It's rated for 38,000 pounds. And here's this little tip and trick that you can do. If you wanna get yourself some free tires on the back end, well, they're not free per se, but they're a lot cheaper to get them from the factory than getting them aftermarket. So you can actually order your tractor or your truck with steer tires all the way around. So uh, my customer here, and a big thank you to the guys over at m, &M Bulk Milk uh, who purchased this truck. Uh, they have their own inventory of drive tires and uh, they ordered this truck with some additional steer tires so that they can put them on some of their other trucks. So just gives them a less expensive option ordering them from the factory and uh, solves the problem. So there's a little tip that you can do when you're ordering a truck if you have more than one. Uh, you can order steer tires all the way around just to uh, uh, you know, make a better uh, cost decision. So it doesn't work for everybody, but uh, for some people it would. Continuing on the spec here, we have the fixed fifth wheel. It's a uh, FW33, so that is the Teflon spacer on top there. So a maintenance lube free uh, fifth wheel. And we have the additional holes in here so you can move it if you want. Uh, rear ends, 40,000 pound rear ends 
Oh, we got uh, drum brakes all the way around with full lockers. Here's the larger fuel tank on this side. This one is the 120. And then there is that uh, DPF toolbox. So this is gonna be changing in the new year. Uh, so right now, you can see the battery box, or the box here extends about two inches behind the cab. So in the, in the uh, new year, we're gonna start seeing the, the steps extending about 10 inches behind the cab. Uh, exhaust will still be clear, but the steps will be encroaching a little bit more into the frame on the back end. So that's uh, something to consider uh, for next year. Uh, let's open up the hood and I'll show you what's inside. So opening up the hood here, we have the Packard MX-13. Uh, it's a 485 horsepower, 1650 torque rating on it. Uh, we have the air ride front axle. So this is the AG-130 on the front end here. So a nice air ride suspension. And then, like I said, sorry, uh, we have disc brakes on the front, not drum, but uh, disc brakes on the front drum on the back. So let's go around the other side, show you a few things there. So here's the hot side with the turbo. We got your filters, we got your coolant up above there. Uh, we got this little tap here if you want to shut off the coolant going in and out of the HVAC system in the off season, you can do that. So close up the hood and finish this speed tour off for you guys. It's kind of becoming the norm. These uh, super fast, quick videos. It's just I've been finding I've been so busy these days that uh, finding half an hour to do a video is, is a little more challenging. So it's like 10 minutes, but you know what? You get the picture, you get to see the truck, get to see what it's all about. So there we go. So under the door here, we have the stainless strip under here with the engine and oil pan heater. Uh, going in the cab here, we have this seat here is the GT, 703 top of the line seat that you can get in this cab heated and air conditioned seats so you got the little perforations here for the uh, airflow to go through and then you got heat as well and then you have your height dump your shock your height adjustment and then your lumbar supports right there so looking across the dash here we have the rubber wrapped rubber steering wheel with the controls for the digital display uh, down here on this side, we have your work light switch, interior brightness on the dash, your interior lights, and then there's your exterior light pre-trip test right there. Turn signal stat right here. This whole collar slides in to get windshield washer fluid onto the window. That is your marker light interrupter switch for your overhead uh, clearance lights up top. On the dash here, we have six gauges with a storage pocket. You can kind of alternate where you want to have this. If you want to have the storage pocket there and the gauges there, you can uh, specify that from the factory. Here's the full locking differentials, air suspension dump, DPF regen, and a uh, couple spares. And then there is your uh, traction control, engine fan, and then your trailer uh, brakes right there. Got a USB charger. And uh, up above here, we have a little switch that is for the work light. That is, uh, where is that work light? That is a work light that's mounted uh, without any light from the factory. So that's just uh, a switch. And then we have uh, clearance lights and then your exterior lights as well. So toolbox seat under the passenger side here. So lots of storage with this additional pocket for all the owner's manuals and such. And this is an 18 speed manual transmission. So uh, there you go. All right, so there you go. Our really quick short video for you guys here today. Thanks so much for checking it out. If you like this type of content, please give this video a thumbs up uh, or even take it to the next level and you can subscribe to my channel just clicking the link down there. If you want to spec a truck out with me or if you want to uh, see what we have in inventory, you can go up here to my website, thekenworthguy.com, where all that information is listed for you. So thanks for, so much for watching and have yourself the world's best day. Shoo.